Today the road takes us to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're going to be spending a few nights at the fabulous Camp Margaritaville. I mean, this area is always a good time. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Guys, I'm free in my RV. Approaching one of my favorite areas of the eastern United States, and that would be the Smoky Mountains. Pigeon Forge is one of those towns with every tourist attraction imaginable, not to mention Dollywood and many more. It is certainly great family fun, even though we're not into that sort of thing as much anymore. We're staying at the new Camp Margaritaville Resort. And a couple of months ago, they reached out and invited us to stay for a few nights and I'm like, yeah, I would love to. And it is only now that the stars have aligned to make it happen, so here we are. It is pretty empty here on a Monday, but it'll fill up as the week progresses. You know, it's true what they say, the shorter the trailer, the harder it is to park. And here we are, our sight with the view of the swimming pool so we know what's going on all the time. Okay, first impressions. This place seems to be fabulous. Back there we have the swimming pool and there's like a lazy river and uh, hot tubs and all kinds of activity. And uh, just for full disclosure, Margaritaville did reach out to me, but they were very windy today. We're not gonna be able to enjoy the pool today, but one of these days. Uh, we're gonna be here for four nights they reached out to me and they asked me, you know, would you like to stay at our new resort here in, in Pigeon Forge? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So that's uh, one of the reasons I'm here. And I figure, what better way to break in, you know, I mean, in TD4 than, you know, we, we did State Park. We've done boondocking now. Did we do boondocking? No, we haven't done boondocking yet. We, we still have to do that. Um, but, you know, a couple of nights at a resort, uh, it's always my way to do things. And you know, every, everything, oh, I forgot to, to close this. Everything seems to be more or less uh, brand new, you know, it's, um, and it, it's got that foot loose that I like, though those um, dump, uh, dump uh, receptacles, uh, it, they usually work very well. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chill for a couple of days here, and you know, have some margaritas because that's what you do. So at least, uh, this time around today, the chief pelican head is joining with the parrot heads, and uh, we're gonna spend some day, some time here at Margaritaville. By the way, very well, well located. It's right at the end of of Pigeon Forge, so Gatlinburg is just a few minutes away. You know, you don't have to drive like through the whole Pigeon Forge to to go to the Smoky Mountains. And I doubt we're gonna go to the smoke to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park this time around, but you never know. Well, let's check out the facilities, especially now that it is nearly empty and it is easier to film. Nice swimming pool. It's got a slide and a hot tub. I can't show it to you on this video, but they have happy tunes playing throughout the resort, which automatically puts you in a good party mood. To be honest, sometimes it is a little much, but I like it for the most part. And it feels appropriate because Jimmy Buffett, right? They have this propane fire pit here, which is a good thing because the whole area is under a fire ban. And this is where they do the breakfast buffet. And here's the lobby, which is quite nice actually. A place like this, of course, will have a little more of a hotel or resort vibe to it. It is definitely glamping. a large arcade. Yep, it is definitely a family destination. They have Pong, and Illy and I are going to play some air hockey later, but we may not film it. Let me tell you, eerily deserted on this Monday afternoon, but I'm sure it will fill up as the weekend approaches. 
It's been in the 60s and very windy, so definitely no pool or lazy river weather. At least, not for the Floridian in me. Cool, they have duck ping bowling. Finally, the camp store, which is not bad, but I've definitely seen better. Oh, this is so cool! Here they have Jimmy Buffett's original 1963 Airstream Bambi, from where he recorded the vocals for the Far Side of the World album. Well, we finally caved in had to have a perfect margarita. Well, we got a complimentary breakfast buffet, so let's do that. By the way, good morning. Forgive me, for I have goofed. I didn't realize the camera was on time-lapse mode. I mean, it is a new GoPro after all, so I apologize for the strobe effect. That certainly hit the right spot, very good. Let's continue. Let's go see the, the Airstream once again. Well, considering how deserted this place was yesterday, today I believe that the breakfast buffet was pretty packed. So that's good. Maybe maybe it was because it was Monday, you know, things are getting started in the week. Uh, but very cool to see the Airstream. It, it would be cool to see inside, right? The Airstream uh, that belongs to, of course, to the chief, the chief parrot head. Jimmy Buffett. All right, let's get back to the campground. I mean, to the campsite, and uh, and if it warms up this afternoon, we'll we'll hit the pool, or maybe we'll just play some pool. Well, we're going to this place called the Island. They have restaurants, they have entertainment, Ferris wheel, probably gonna be good. it the island parking is a little far away but they do have a shuttle I guess technically a tram it really isn't that far we could have walked but I'm still recovering from my ankle injury from last January so I don't want to overexert myself. This place opened in 2013, and I can't believe I had never heard about it. It has several Margaritaville properties like Fence and the Island Resort, and according to what I read, it is owned by the same developer. Hence the Margaritaville-esque vibe everywhere. There are many attractions, but I think the main one is the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel. And here we are, we've made it to the island. Seems to be pretty cool. They have an old smoky moonshine, they have Margaritaville. But I think, I think that we wanna see if we can get into Paladin, Paladin's family kitchen. Let's do it. Enter through the gift shop. Overall, great ambience. The bread is to die for. And they have local IPAs. And let me tell you, it's gonna be a feast. It is family style, all you can eat. Next time, I want one of those tables by the window. All right, 
Paula? Good food, good food. I think we're gonna do the Ferris wheel first. We are too stuffed to do any of the other attractions anyway. By the way, lots of different types of attractions. I like it. One thing that I have noticed, not very busy. It must be low season in Pigeon Forge, which I don't really mind. You know how I feel about waiting in line for anything. For your safety, please remain seated at all times. Do not rock or shake the gondola. And please remain the fun at eating, eating, or drinking while riding. ride lasts a pretty long time. Four whole revolutions, I believe. Let's go for a stroll, even though I shouldn't be walking too much yet. Just like at Camp Margaritaville, they are cranking the latest hits all over the place through very high fidelity speakers, I might add. The downside, I won't be able to offer you any of the original sound. How about a moonshine tasting? <laughs> so this is where they make that good stuff. Let me tell you, after about seven of those, you start getting a little tipsy. Every half hour they have the dancing fountains to the rhythm of Margaritaville, Sweet Caroline or some other classic happy song. After the short time we've spent here, I can tell you that I really like it. It is, of course, by definition, a tourist trap, but it is a very well executed one and that's something I appreciate. Nothing wrong with that. It is time to take the tram back to the parking lot. Just like that, another day comes to an end. It seems a little livelier tonight, so let's go for a nightcap. The watermelon margarita does not disappoint. Right here, by the pool. Good night. Oh, they just started the music. It must be 10 a.m. Anyway, at some point in the journey, you have to do laundry. So, let's do that. I'm gonna drive over there because I still have a little bit of a limp. Wow, this is very nice. Very new machines here. And uh, you can either use an app or quarters. I'm gonna use quarters.
Swiss cheese. Bon appetit. All right, let's go for a walk around the campground. One margarita, two margarita. It's perfect. We had some nachos at the cafe, and that was it for another relaxing day. This place is starting to fill up. In my original plan, we were going to walk around Gatlinburg, go to Klingman's Dome, but both those things require a lot of walking, and I'm not yet up to the task. What we're gonna do is take the Gatlinburg Bypass, and there's an overlook, and then drive through Gatlinburg, and perhaps stop by Sevierville. This is it, the Gatlinburg Overlook. goes the Ober Gatlinburg tram. We took that one last year. Now let's go for a cruise along the main drag. Gatlinburg in my mind has such a happy vibe. There on the left is the entrance signed to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And here we are, approaching Gatlinburg. I am so bummed out I'm not gonna be able to do any hikes in the Great Smokies this time around or walk around Gatlinburg, but that's okay. I gotta give my ankle time to heal. It is early in the morning, so there are not too many people around. And I was tempted, very tempted to park and walk around just a little bit. But I'd rather go somewhere we've never been before. Meanwhile, enjoy the ride through Gatlinburg. Coming up on the right, Anakista, one of those things we've never done before. And I'm sorry we haven't done all that much this week, but it is what it is. As I said, my leg is not quite ready for prime time, not yet anyway, so I'm saving my strength for Alaska this summer. Hopefully we'll come back soon because I love this area. But right now, actually, let's go by Sevierville. We've never actually stopped there and there's supposed to be a historic downtown. It is on the other side of Pigeon Forge, so we're going to take Veterans Boulevard that bypasses the main thoroughfare. This is the road you would take if you want to go to Dollywood. And this is it. On a Thursday, here in April, it seems to be more of an evening kind of place. There's the historic courthouse. Yay, we found parking right here where we want to be. This is, of course, the site of the ornate Sevier County Courthouse, built in 1895. But the main reason we're here is because of the statue depicting a young Dolly Parton, erected in 1987. Well, here we are in front of the Sevierville uh, courthouse. And here's that famous statue of Dolly, Dolly Parton, playing her, her six strings. And uh, 
I don't know, this is pretty much all we're gonna do today, really. I, I haven't, you know, I still have a little bit of a limp. and don't wanna, wanna be overexerting myself too much and walking too much. But, you know, this was here, we found parking right there, I mean. There is also a veteran's memorial. Overall, pretty good looking small downtown here. The Appalachian there seems to be really good, but it only opens for dinner. And we're not hungry yet anyway. The brochure I picked up at the visitor center a few days ago mentioned a walkable downtown, so this must be what they were referring to. You know what we haven't done in a while? A brewery! And there's a new one in Pigeon Forge. Iron Forge Brewing Company just opened up in mid-April and I really like what they've done with the place. The West Coast IPA is still a little flat, maybe they didn't give it enough time to fully cook, but let me tell you, it tasted delicious, my kind of IPA. The staff, super friendly and I think it is going to be a success. They are right here next to the river and they have outdoor seating. Well, apparently, this place is brand new. They opened last week and, well, by the time you watch this, it's going to be open for about a month. But let me tell you, good West Coast IPA. Well, as you can probably tell, we've had a wonderful time here at Camp Margaritaville in Pigeon Forge. We didn't do much, we just wanted to relax, enjoy the amenities, you know, shake down crews for Mini Tini 4 here. But now, if you would like to stay at this marvelous place, I have a special promo code for you guys to get 15% off. And that is just promo code ROBERT. It's to remember my name, just promo code ROBERT, you get 15% off here at Margaritaville. Now, for our last dinner here in Pigeon Forge, I don't know exactly where we're gonna go, but that's what we're gonna do. And then tomorrow, early, early in the morning, we're heading south to Peli Camp. We ended up going to this Brazilian steakhouse called Gaucho Urbano, but I didn't film much. It was kind of our date night, if you know what I mean. They have a buffet and they come around with different cuts of meat until you say no more. It was overall a good experience. Now, see you tomorrow. And that's it for our time at Margaritaville. We're gonna, we're heading back home. Tonight we're gonna sleep somewhere in, in Southern Georgia and uh, tomorrow Pelly Camp. And right now we just have to drive across uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And then we're gonna avoid Atlanta. I'm gonna take the route through through Athens, Georgia. I think that's gonna be better. Enjoy the ride. We're going home on this beautiful morning, driving across the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We are slowly gaining elevation, and it is only going to get steeper. This is actually a really good test for Starship towing Mini Tini 4 in mountainous terrain for the first time. And let me tell you, it is passing with flying colors. The new trailer feels noticeably lighter. 
Part of me wants to stop and explore more, but we can't do that. We have to make it back to home base in South Florida before Monday, because I have a doctor's appointment where they're gonna tell me my ankle injury has healed. Did you notice we did a 360 degree loop? I was gonna say there aren't too many people, but all the trailheads are packed. up here real quick for the view. It is a tradition, we're gonna stop at Newfound Gap, the lowest drivable pass in the Smokies, the border between Tennessee and North Carolina, and the Appalachian Trail crosses through here. Well, I couldn't do it. I couldn't just uh, keep going without stopping at Newfound Gap. This is the Tennessee, North Carolina state line. And you can just walk over there a little bit, see the view. This, by the way, this, uh, this right here, the Appalachian Trail. But we're a little chilly up here. It's, uh, it's in the low 50s, but just for a second. And this is that, that classic view that classic view of the Smoky Mountains. There it is, the AT, the Appalachian Trail. Mount Katahdin, only 1,972 miles that way. 1972, I think that was a good year. Now that's one good looking truck and trailer combo. Florida, here we come. Now we have nowhere to go but down. Camp pretty overgrown. We have several falling trees, lots of cleaning up to do, but that will be another time. We still have to accessorize Mini Tini 4, 
and get everything ready for the long Alaska trip this summer. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding in my 